Hi folks, my name is Craig Thompson. Today we're in Eugene, Oregon at rvsalesoforegon.com. And that's how you get our prices to all of our inventory, rvsalesoforegon.com. So that'll give you all of them, fifth wheels, travel trailers, motor homes, diesel pushers, and uh, we put the prices on there, and it's just a market value price. It's not necessarily what you'll pay, but it kind of gives you an idea what, what it should sell for and the condition and the miles and all that. So today I'm gonna feature a very rare find. It's called the Chinook Motorhome. Chinook, Lazy Days, Born Freeze, they're the most sought after Class C type motorhome in the country. They don't make these anymore. They're a thing of the past. Um, I used to sell these brand new back in 2000 while they were still in business. Um, but they were made in Yakima, Washington. They're all one piece molded fiberglass body. And it's like on a Class C chassis, basically. Um, this particular model here is called a Destiny. So the model is a 2400, so that means it's 24 feet. Most of the Chinooks are like 21 feet. And the, that three extra feet is going to give you a bigger bathroom and another closet next to your wardrobe that you can use as a pantry or whatever. So um, this is a 2001 Chinook Destiny. It's green and white. Um, very good condition. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of neat because most of them are a Ford V10. This one is a Vortec, which is a Chevy. So it's a Vortec with an Allison transmission. Some say you get a little better mileage than a V10, okay? Um, this has all leather seats. The front seat and the passenger seat is all flex steel leather. And it's a power seat uh, right in the very front uh, of the seat. There's your power forward and back and up and down. I think it's a six-way seat. Um, now, let's walk around here. Here's the Chevy emblem on the front. I want you to notice where the license plate is. Of course, they're Oregon plates. That's where we are right now. Um, every one of the Chinooks that I found, you fold this down and, you know, it's all aluminum. It's actually a step. So if you want to clean your windshield, you know, if you're going to wash your windshield, it's kind of nice to have a nice step you can get up and do that with. Okay, well, you can see on the top, it's got the little uh, rack around the top. Also, this particular model has a, a solar panel up on the roof. So it's got a generator, solar panel, the house batteries, there's two. It's in really good shape. I'll show you some of the storage. Uh, a lot of these Chinooks don't have a lot of outside storage. This one does. Let's take a look. Now, I want you to notice, when I pull this out, a gob of storage, all of this is aluminum. It's all aluminum frame. And what, I, what that is so important about, it has, you won't have the wood or the dry rod if it ever gets wet or moisture. It's kind of nice to have it all aluminum. Um, all the Chinooks usually have what they call solar windows. In other words, you can't see in but you can see out real good. Uh, let me open this door right here so I can tell you what we were talking about, the seats. These are all leather power seats. This has a tilt wheel, Chevy, power windows, power door locks, um, drink holders. It looks like it's got a backup camera. It's in really, really good condition. It don't have a, a whole bunch of miles on them, but it's a 2001, but again, it's a last of the Mohegans. They don't make these anymore. So this particular body style, really hard to find. All right, let me uh, come out here, and I know, want you to look at those running boards. They have lights in them at night. When you open the door, they light up so you can see where you step on them. That's kind of nice. Uh, back here, when you open this door, this one will be where you uh, hook up all your utilities. 
And what I mean by utilities, I'll show you. This has your hot and cold water shower. This has your black water flush for your uh, your black water tank. This has your city water when you hook up a garden hose so you have direct city water. When you turn the spigot on you got direct city water. This is where you fill your own fresh water tank so you can use your pump if you're up in the mountains or you're out camping somewhere and you don't have city water then you just turn on your pump and you have your own fresh water. Um, hot and cold water shower. Here's your plug-in for your 110 plug-in. This is for your cable TV. So everything's right there. Very, very nice. This is your water heater. And I noticed these wheels, the wheels are Alco aluminum wheels. They're not stainless steel liners. They're actually real Alco aluminum wheels. Okay, back here, it has an electric step that goes in and out. And this is another little storage area here. Just, it's not that much, it's only that deep. But again, it's more storage. Let's walk on around. That's your ladder for getting up on the roof. This is your generator. It's an Onan 4,000 watt generator. It's all you need that runs the whole motorhome. It runs your air conditioning and everything. And if you look up there, there's an awning. That's the awning that just cranks straight out. Like it goes out maybe 10 feet. Um, back of the refrigerator, this is where your furnace exhaust is. Here's that other little storage compartment. This is where your house batteries are. So there's two house batteries, nice and clean. Again, all aluminum frame. And then there's another storage right here, okay? And of course, this is the passenger, well, it's locked, passenger seat. Okay, with that, let's go inside and I'll show you a nice motorhome. Okay, as you're coming in, as you come in here, I'll show you. First thing I'll have you do is I'll turn this light on. Okay, right here, I want you to notice, this is where you start and stop your generator. And the generator's got 480.4 hours. So 480 hours, not that many. These are your light switches. And this is a wardrobe, so well, I'll have you open that up and look at it. And there's all kind of stuff in there, but probably your uh, awning rod in there. But you can hang some clothes. And then because this is a 24 foot, not a 21, you get this extra room here. And if you open that up, they're pull out pantries for like canned goods or whatever. So I can actually pull this out, kind of give you an idea. But aren't they neat? You can put a lot of canned goods in here. And then, down here you got drawer after drawer after drawer. A lot of, bit, lot of room. And go ahead and take a look at this bathroom. It's kind of what they call a wet shower. So you can use it as a toilet whenever you need. And if you want to take a shower, you just bring the curtain around. Very, very nice. Sink and all. Alright, now... A lot of the Chinooks sometimes will have a single refrigerator, double door refrigerator. So you have a separate freezer and you have a separate refrigerator. And the nice part of it, it's gas or electric. So no matter where you go, if you don't have power, you got gas. So it'll work off your propane. Okay, here's some neat cut. You can use that as an extended counter if you want. This is all a Corian countertop. This is your kitchen. You got a double sink instead of a single sink. You got a mowing faucet, which is kind of nice. You got a nice little place to put things, like maybe a loaf of bread or whatever. You can put spices up here. Um, this is your water heater. When you turn that on, it automatically will light. It's a DSI, which means direct spark ignition. Up here, if you turn that switch on, see it light up? That means you have heated holding tanks. Believe it or not, it's got heated holding tanks. So if you're in an area where, say it's really cold, your water tanks won't freeze because they're heated. So that's kind of nice. It's like electric blanket around them. Um, 
This has all kind of storage underneath. Uh, up above, all these cabinets are all lit. So when you open them up, the lights come on. Isn't that cool? See, they're all lit it. Lighted, I guess. Very nice. Light all the way down. Look at all the storage. Okay. And what I like about this, it's got the two barrel chairs. So, when you're entertaining friends and family or whatever, you've got one, and you can move these anywhere you want. Isn't that cool? You can, they roll. And this has a table that goes out here like this, so you can eat on the table, or you can play cards or whatever. And this TV, they decided to give us the TV that goes with it. This TV actually mounts up here on the wall, so you got a little TV. Now, I'm gonna show you this couch. This is not only a couch, but watch this. I'm gonna push the button, look what happens. This becomes a bed. Look how big the bed is. So it comes all the way flat, just to give you an idea. It goes all the way flat, so it's a really nice, comfortable bed built for two, okay? I'll go ahead and bring that up, see how that works. Okay, remember I was telling you about the windows? I was telling you you could see out real clearly, but you can't see in. There's a good example. Okay, let's come on up here. I don't know if you can see this, but over there is the solar panel that's showing you that it's charging right now. So this is uh, showing you that the solar is charging us up on the roof. This is a FM AM radio. This is a CD player, DVD player, the old VCRs, remember those? But it's got all of it, it's all set. And of course on this side is where the TV will mount. It sits up here. And this is where your thermostat, where your uh, furnace, it's got uh, air conditioning, it's got a heat pump, and it's got a furnace, okay? Now, I'm gonna explain that to you. It's got two sources of heat. You've got your gas heat, which is your furnace, that's propane. It also has electric heat. So your air conditioner has a heat strip in it. So you can have electric heat from your air conditioner. So you've got two sources of heat, electric and gas. Electric heat is dry heat. So when you open up all the curtains in the morning, you won't have any condensation on the windows. So that's why I like to use dry heat or electric heat if it's available. As long as you've got free plug-in, you might as well use it. Okay, I think we pretty much covered most of it. Let's look at this kitchen over here. Across from the sink, we have real nice, instead of a two burner, this has a three burner cooktop on sitting on a mounted uh, Corian countertop. And this is your monitor panel. If you push this button, it'll show you how much your holding tank, your gray water, black water, your fresh water, how much propane you have, and what condition your battery's in. That's your light, and that's your fan when you're cooking. And of course, it's got a microwave. So it's got a turntable and a microwave. So anyway, 24 feet, wide body, 2001 Chinook, and it's a Chinook Destiny. Great, great motorhome. So up here, let's look up here one more time. There's some overhead storage up here. And look at this uh, CD player built in. If you want to load up some CDs, looks like it's got a, a CD player up here. And I think it, I think it holds like six CDs, so when you're traveling, you can play some good music and have a great time. So, again, no, no smell of any pets, no sign of any leaks, no smells of moisture. Um, 2001 Chinook, they're all going to be about the same price area. Again, go to rvsalesoforegon.com, 2001, you will see we have the prices, great price, great motorhome, and I'd love to be your salesman. My name is Craig Thompson. I'll look forward to meeting you.